Having completed both mechanical and equalization optimizations and checked coverage in the venue using the SPL tab, the final step is to export the file. Display 2.3 offers a number of options for exporting information, the most obvious being saving as a file that can be uploaded to either a multicellular, wavefront precision or to an O-line array. There are also three other options. To export all array data as a printable file, a 3D CAD file, and a file suitable for import into other 3D audio analysis applications. If we click on the Export tab on the dashboard, we have four icons Export to a printable file, Export Array DXF, Export to ViewNet and export 3D data. Export to ViewNet is the most commonly used function as it exports a D2P file containing all of the equalization coefficients which can be directly uploaded to one of the MLA series arrays, an icon amplifier to drive a wavefront precision array or a DX4 processor if the array is O-line. First select a suitable file location for the exported file and click Save. Note that this will create a file but the file will be empty until the export is started. You can now give the D2P file a suitable name. This will default to the project file name, but on some Windows configurations a long file name will fail to upload, so if your project has a long name select a shorter name and avoid spaces, underscores or hyphens. You will now see a list of all the arrays in the project. If these have a green OK, the EQ optimization has been completed. You can see that an MLA array has been added to our demonstration project, but it hasn't yet been optimized, so a red exclamation mark is shown and it isn't possible to select this array for export. Click on the checkbox to include all arrays required. By default this will be all of them, but perhaps you have some that were experimental and won't be required, in which case deselect them. Now click export and the window will display the export taking place working through all selected arrays. When the window disappears the export is finished and the D2P file will be available. This can be used in conjunction with ViewNet to load into your array, either directly if it is from the MLA series, or into an Icon Amplifier or DX4.0 processor. Clicking on Export to a printable file, the window features a drop-down allowing you to select which of the arrays in your design you wish to export. Next you select the file location where you would like the exported file to reside. Then simply click export, you will see beginning export in the window, then shortly after finished export. A new folder called reports will have been created in the selected file location. This will contain two PNG files, one a side view of the array and the other the venue slice diagram. There is also an HTML file which includes both images and can be opened using any web browser. Having exported one array, you can then add another from the same project and if you retain the same file location, the three files will be added to the existing report folder. You can repeat the process for all arrays in the project to arrive at a complete report of the entire project in a single folder. Click Done to close the export window. Export to DXF creates a 3D wireframe model of the array which can, for example, be added to a CAD drawing of the venue. This is often a requirement for architectural designs prior to winning the tender for an installation or for production designers on major tours and festivals to ensure that their elaborate set designs actually have room for a PA system. Clicking on Export Array DXF opens a similar window to the Report Export. 
first select the required array if your project has more than one. Then navigate to a suitable file location and click on Open. You have three options for the model. First you can select high detail if required. This will mean a larger file size. For example, in our demonstration project, the 16 cabinet WPS array DXF export is 1.15 megabyte. If high detail is checked, the file size increases to 4.21 megabyte. Next, selecting absolute coordinates retains the coordinates for the array's location within the venue. This will be particularly useful if it is being used in a 3D CAD drawing of the venue, but possibly not essential if you just require a standalone 3D image of the array. Finally, Rotate for Ease is used to orientate the array for optimum export into Ease, so as well as SPL analysis, an Ease model will have an accurate image of the array. Once you have selected the appropriate options, click on Export. You will see the window exporting each cabinet individually until it shows Finished Export. As with the Report Export, you can select any of the other arrays that you may have in the project to export them to the same or to a new location. Once you have finished, click Done to close the window. The Export 3D allows you to export to several 3D file formats for use in a number of third-party applications. Ease 4.0 is probably the most common. Please note that files exported for use with Ease will only work with the full version of Ease, which at the time of writing is version 4.0. Exported files cannot be used with Ease Focus. This is because AFMG require the manufacturer to pay a fee for every individual product file to license it for use with Ease Focus. As every export from an optimised array is unique and therefore essentially a new speaker, it's not possible to license every single one. Once again, your first option is to select which of the arrays in your project to export. You have three options for the format. XGLC, CLF text and Ease text. If you have selected XGLC, you again select a suitable file location for the exported file. You may add gain to the array input and then click export. You will once again see the export sequentially exporting each cabinet until finished export is shown. CLF data has a number of further preferences to select. CLF format is used by a number of third-party analysis applications and free CLF file viewers are available online. You may select basic or advanced export. The CLF file can include XED slash XGLL and can be in CLF version 1 or 2. CLF format is most often used to display speaker output in a balloon plot and you can refine the balloon type to be either PSB or WPSB, select the resolution and the radius. In advanced mode you can further refine the algorithm selecting the frequency and angle smoothing coefficients. When you have selected all appropriate options, click export and you will see the export taking place on a window which will show the balloon plot being created. Once completed, you can click on the Rotate 3D button to view the balloon plot. The file will also be available in the designated location as a tab file. The Ease Text option has exactly the same preferences as the CLF. In addition to the same tab format, the file is exported in XED and XGLL format for direct import into Ease 4.0.